now let's have a quick look how to adjust your setting on the new ProPen 3. You can do this in the Wacom Center by either clicking on the ProPen 3 shape here in the main window or you can click here in, on the left on the ProPen 3 tab and then you will see the corresponding settings in this window. And you have a couple of settings here. This is the basic settings and you will find also more advanced settings if you click on the arrows here where you can basically adjust the tilt sensitivity in a more sophisticated way by uh, working on the pressure curve. But let's start with the basic things first. First of all, you will see that the ProPen 3 has all the three buttons and on each of those buttons you can assign a certain functionality like a keyboard shortcut, a modifier key or a mouse click or mouse function. And they're always coming with some meaningful presets, like here you will find always the left mouse click um, on, the, on the pen tip. On the first button from below you will find the right click, a pen and scroll feature on the, on the middle or center button. And to erase your strokes you can use the eraser functionality on the upper button here. To change one of those settings um, you can simply click on the uh, respective settings. For example, let's change the erase. And here you will find a list of, of actions, basically. Recommended ones on top, but if you go really, really down, you will find a multitude of different possibilities to add. One of the most frequently used ones is possibly to assign a certain keyboard shortcut to um, one of the pen buttons. Let's do this one. Let's, for example, replace the erase button by the normal undo command. So here I click on keyboard shortcuts, which is uh, in the recommended area and now a new window pops up and here you can basically add your keyboard shortcut and to do this you click in that window and now the driver is waiting for your input for example command Z for the undo command and I can give it a certain name on here on my keyboard and now hit apply and now you will see that on my upper button you will find the undo command command Z on my ProPen 3 and this is valid for all applications. One of the key features in the new Wacom Center is that you can assign application specific settings to all your buttons and on-screen shortcuts in the Wacom driver. For example, if you want to assign a specific function like a keyboard shortcut in Photoshop to one of those pen buttons, this is very easy to do. Let's do this. So I'm going to my Wacom Center Go to Pro Pen 3 settings and here you can find the different button settings. If I click on one of those, let's for example in this case take the erase button and I want to assign here a specific shortcut for Photoshop, I have to add Photoshop to my application list. Primarily, every change I do here is valid for all applications in my system, no matter if it's Photoshop or the file explorer or whatever application. And first of all, let me add Photoshop to this list by clicking on the plus key. Now, the window is prompting you to select an application and it checks all the, the currently running applications. So I have Photoshop 2022 already running in the background. So I can easily pick it here. And now I click on okay. And now you see that the icon of Adobe Photoshop is added to the application list. And now I can toggle between all other applications and Adobe Photoshop. And to do a setting exclusively for Photoshop, I click on Adobe Photoshop and now I click on the um, pen button, which I want to change. For example, here, the eraser one, and I want to go for one of the recommended actions like a keyboard shortcut. I click here and this window is now waiting for a keyboard entry, like for example, Command Z, which is the universal undo command. And to document this one, I will also type in undo. And now if I hit apply, you will see that in Photoshop, on the upper key, I have a sound the undo keyboard command, where in all other applications, it's still the erase functionality. And this basically you can do for all the applications in your workflow, for Photoshop, for Illustrator, for Clip Studio Paint, and all the other, even for education or office applications.